Good morning, and it's the departure day. We are going to leave this gorgeous anchorage behind us, Bahia Santa Elena, and head 45 miles to Marina Papagayos and officially check in. It's going to be about seven or eight hour journey. So we are booked in with all of the officials for first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, this place has been absolutely amazing, really tranquil. There's parrots flying by. There's amazing noises coming out of the jungle, but it is super gusty. In the middle of the night, we had like 35 knots of gust. Uh, we've got a lot of chain out and it's all mud. So I'm just praying to all gods that the anchor chain is not covered in mud all 200 feet of it because you know i get no support do i it's all down to me less chit chat more raising the anchor please more scrubbing <laughs> The anchor look good upon lifting, no mud at all, so that's great. And I'm just getting ready for the hell to continue. <laughs> the moment we leave this bay, I think it's gonna be howling again around 25 to 30 knots. So we stowed away absolutely everything. We're gonna strap ourselves in and enjoy the ride. 18 knots already and we haven't left the anchorage. Should be a fun one. Uh, Santa Elena was a gorgeous spot, but it was still gusty. We're not quite out of the danger zone for the Papagayo winds yet. Uh, we've got a good forecast for today's sail, uh, but even a good forecast in this neck of the woods uh, has us with 30 knots of wind uh, on the nose as soon as we turn this point. So we've got that to look forward to. This is very much the calm before the storm. It's really the only bit of downwind sailing that we've done in the whole of this Papagayo nightmare. Uh, so we're enjoying it while it lasts. Cape Horn of Costa Rica. Just as we're getting comfortable rolling some more sails out, we get a gust of 34 on the beam. It was miserable. Had us almost knocked down into the water. So sails are back in and we're just cruising along, almost fully reefed at five knots. So I gotta say, these conditions, they just lull you into a false sense of security. And then you turn the corner or you pass a peak in the mountains and all hell breaks loose. I don't want to be negative Nelly here, as the first mate calls me, Captain Fun Sponge, but this isn't my favorite type of sailing. The wind is just so unreliable. You got a little bit too little or way too much and not a lot in between. I'm just glad we lost the swell though. Dirty nuts! It's gasting from every angle, it's insane. Had to deactivate the autopilot and it's on hand steering because the autopilot was not coping with all the gusts coming from different directions. Well, the Papagayos are really blowing at the moment. We have our last upwind leg of the passage. At least I really, really hope it's our last upwind leg of the passage. Uh, but I'm just praying to all my gods that the wind is gonna come around and uh, we can sail away from the weather again. Just like we did this morning. It was a whole different world, even though we had 30 knots of wind behind us. Uh, so yeah, nearly there, about 18, 19 miles to go. 
and then hopefully we'll be done with these papagayos. There's a lot of short, sharp chop uh, that's being whipped up in the bay in front of us. No big ocean swell, thankfully, but uh, it's not my idea of a pleasant afternoon sail. These papagayos have really given us a beating, some of the most challenging sailing that we've ever done. And uh, I feel like it's taken a few years off the boat and off our sails. So they're gonna need some urgent repair when we get into the marina. Not to mention that it's taken a few years of the first mate. We just had a sustained 35 knots across the deck right now. We're healing like crazy, but making great progress. We'll be there in no time. And I don't think we're gonna to need to scrub the bottom either. tell you that. Come to Costa Rica, he says. <laughs> Don't come by boat. It's to the land travel, let me tell you. Crazy. Thank God that we have reefed in time. We have splash bags even from the bottom of the Bimini. Huge swell is coming over and totally getting the cockpit wet. It requires all of your concentration and tidying the jeep and letting it out, you rounding up. Only about an hour and a half to go to the bay where we should find some protection. But it's been absolutely crazy. I did not expect that the last bit of the sail, the last leg, is going to be the most difficult one. It's pretty nasty at the moment. We're sailing through red tide on the water and there's nothing you can do to stop the spray from just coming up and soaking you down your face getting in your eyes it's not pleasant
25 knots. We're trying to punch through it with the engine. We're just trying to get towards the marina right now. Get into the wind. There's only a couple of miles of fetch, but this is insane. The Papagayos are hitting us with their full force right now. I've got to say, Costa Rica is not an easy place to check into. Here we are, ready for our appointment tomorrow. And we came through hail to get here. Well, we're here, we're just arriving to the anchorage. It's still blowing, 35 to 38 knots, so anchoring is going to be really interesting. The marina, which is just on the edge, uh, is closed. It's not accepting any boats today because of the high winds. And we are booked for all of the officials to clear us into the country tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we're just hoping that these winds are going to calm down overnight and that we can safely enter the marina tomorrow. But for now, we need to be anchoring just off the beach. So there's going to be no swell, but no protection from the wind at all. happened again the wind loss is jammed every time we have like extreme weather conditions and the boat pulls the chain it just gets stuck so now we have about 50 feet of chain out and we can't take it up or down so Tom needs to get the hammer and overpower it it's howling nearly 40 knots typical perfect end <laughs> to a great sail Well, this was a journey from hell. Just to top it off, we anchored over the cliff from a wildfire, so we're choking on smoke that's rolling over the hillside, and our windlass jams. So we were just dragging back in the 30 knots of gust, uh, probably about 400 feet out of where we wanted to anchor. We just made the best of it, so we let the rest of the chain out. It's holding fast now, and uh, but if we drag anywhere, we'll just drag back into that mayhem behind us. So should be fine for one night and we're out of here as soon as the winds calm down in the morning. So pleased that we have arrived. This passage has really knocked it out of me a bit. Uh, I don't think I have many of those in me. I think a big, large cocktail is due. Well, I gotta say, we're feeling a bit better after this. The first mate raided the medicine cabinet and uh, made some interesting mixes. That was one of the most challenging sails that either of us have ever done. I think actually, hands down, the most challenging and probably, I think, the least enjoyable. Uh, we had some pretty extreme conditions. Uh, we measured 45 knots on our instruments, 45 knots of wind howling across our deck. We had green water everywhere. We've had extreme gusts and then we've had lulls in between these extreme gusts. So there's no rest, uh, there's no time when you can just relax and sail uh, and uh, let the boat do the work. You've got to be adjusting the sails constantly. Not only that, but we've been navigating super close to shore and there've been tons of obstacles to avoid. Uh, so super stressful and actually quite draining, I think, for both of us. Uh, we're really looking forward to putting these papagayos behind us. As you can see, we haven't quite managed to do that yet. We're gonna check into the marina check out and then when we head south then we'll be done with the papagayos 
I think if we spent much longer in these conditions, then something would break. Uh, either us or the boat. Maybe both. They always say this uh, when you're learning to sail, and I completely believe it after today's experience. Boats are built so much tougher than people. Uh, our boat performed so well. Uh, we had just the right amount of sail out most of today. Uh, we reefed down. Uh, much more than you think was necessary when you see the, the 15 knots of wind that we started off with. But... A little bit gusty. Even gusting to 45 knots and staying at 30 plus, we were just gliding along beautifully. The helm was balanced, the autopilot wasn't fighting it too much, and we were making a good 6 to 7 knots. So that was actually really comforting to see. And once we got used to being thrown about by the swell, uh, it was actually pretty relaxing. So uh, I don't want to repeat those conditions anytime soon. I think we'll both be very glad to put it behind us. But all in all, one for the Bohemia record books, I think, and a uh, passage that we could look back and reflect on once we get safely into the no wind zone coming up. I want to go back to Mexico. Well, I'm broken. No one cares that I'm ready to check into a clinic <laughs> after the days I've had. What have I done to deserve this? I'm not normally excited about things coming down, but with this one I am. You know, as I say, alcohol is the answer. Special thanks in this episode go to our latest patrons for keeping Bohemia's medicine cabinet able to cope with anything the winds throw at us. Thank you to Pat and James from San Diego who love sailing the Sea of Cortez and have just taken delivery of their new catamaran. Champagne for everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much and here's to you. If you enjoyed this episode, then please don't forget to tell YouTube all about it by commenting, liking, and sharing. See you next time.